This is our 43 kilo rough pump for the thermo exactive that we have. This is a spare. We have two of these. One is a spare and is serviced while the other one is in action because we swap them out every year. And uh, this is the pump and it's on a dolly and this video will emphasize on how to make this custom cheapo dolly and why we actually went to the trouble of, of making this primarily to make life simpler and easier for oil changing. Typically to drain the oil out of a vacuum pump you have to lift the pump and incline it somewhat. All right, so using the foot support hold down pump can be lifted. If the hold down is not used, this is what happens. It starts to lift up the, the wheels on the dolly. So that's why it's a little bit uh, bizarre in having a 2x4 system of a hold down support for the foot. Alright, see? You gotta step on it, lift it up. Right. So the other uh, video goes into this contraption actually in use and having the oil drain. So let me now take the pump off and we'll go over the components of this relatively cheap modification of a commercial furniture dolly. Pump is lifted off the tray. This is just a typical cafeteria tray. This is a one by one piece of angle aluminum, um, about 14 and a half inches long on a piece of 16 by 19 inch uh, particle board that has a uh, melamine uh, covering. The purpose of the angle aluminum is to keep the tray from sliding off when the uh, wood is lifted for the incline of the pump. The particle board is attached to a 18 by 12 inch furniture dolly with a heavy duty piano hinge that's 12 inches by 4 inches when it's open. And the really cute part of this is something to hold down the dolly, something that you can step on so as to not as to keep the uh, wheels down. And uh, so for that, let me describe the Z bracket and the uh, 2x4. All right, this is just a second piano hinge. In uh, case I wanted to build a second pump dolly. This is known as a Z bracket. It's commercially available and it's uh, so its job is to provide a way of attaching to the bottom of the furniture dolly and then in order to make and then we have a couple of pieces of 2x4 which are held to the Z bracket by just a screw with some washers and the purpose of that is so that I can rotate the 2x4 so it doesn't obstruct more floor space when the pump is on the dolly and in storage. Here's a close-up of the Z bracket attached to the underside of the furniture dolly. And all told, furniture dolly included, I would say that uh, 
material cost less than thirty dollars